So yesterday, as I was watching through Tim Conway's latest sermon titled, Josiah's Example is a Call to Young Men. Great, great sermon. You should watch it. Now, he made a point that really stuck with me during the sermon. Now, it stuck with me not only because it's true, but because it happened to me and other young men that I know in the faith. And that truth is that God typically saves men and women in their younger years. Looking at my own life, God saved me at 25 years of age. And I've heard testimonies from men like Paul Washer, who claims to have been saved at 24. Tim Conway claims to have been saved at 25. Vody at 19 or 20. I even heard John MacArthur say he was saved around 19. Uh, John Piper claims to have been saved early, around the ages of six or seven years of age. Now, during Tim's sermon, talking about Josiah, I mean, the young king Josiah, this young boy, and really it's almost wrong to even call him a boy but he was made king at eight years of age can you believe that every time i read through second kings i'm always amazed at how young these men were when they began to lead now imagine being a grown man a 30 year old man and your king is eight years old but he wasn't just a child okay he was a young boy that was filled with wisdom and every bit of that was supernatural and i think it's important that we understand why god typically saves men younger okay because I've, I've dealt with in my own personal life, men in their 50s and 60s who actually believe that they have time, that it's not too late, that they'll take care of that later. And so I think it's important that we examine the ages in which God saves men. Young men, you better lay hold of this. Your time is short. You'll soon be gone. And I'll tell you this, most people that get saved, get saved young. There are exceptions. There are. There are exceptions in this room, but I'll tell you this, anybody that's pastored for any amount of time, they recognize it. Most people get saved young. You know why? Because people that are exposed to the truth when they're young, and then they harden their hearts and they lay those reins to their lust, and they say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go live it up with my friends. I'll get things right with God later on. You know what? It never happens. It doesn't happen. I know there are exceptions, but not many. And I'll tell you this, when death comes, it is utterly vain to talk about tomorrow. Your soul will be required of you right then. Young men, have you ever thought about this? Why would the writer of Ecclesiastes single out young men to live it up? But no, there's judgment. Why would the whole book of Proverbs be written to a son? Why?